let's discuss some of the data types that you can work with in Python. For this video I'm going to be using the print function to show you what the results are, much as the book does. The simplest data type is integers, whole numbers. So for example if I want to use the number 4, I just put the number 4 there. If I want to find out what data type a value has, I can use the type function. What type of data is 4? It's an integer class data type. I can also have negative numbers, and those are also of class int. The next step up from integers are numbers with decimal points in them called floating point numbers. So I can have a floating point number like 3.5. And if I want to find out what type of number 3.5 is, it turns out that's class float. Negative numbers are valid also. And you can also use exponential notation. For example, if I wanted 7,000, I could print 7,000, or I could say print 7E3. And that's a shorthand for saying 7 times 10 to the third power. So the E stands for times 10 to the. And that gives me 7,000 also. What about numbers that are less than 1? I can print them in the normal way. Print 0 0.07. Now is that leading to 0 necessary? Or could I leave that off and just do 0.07? My mantra for this class is try it and find out. So let's print 0.07. Either it'll work or it'll give us an error message. And it turns out that it does work. I can use the exponential notation as well. I can say print 7e minus 2, 7 times 10 to the minus second, which is 0.07. What if I say something like print 7E46? Am I going to get a 7 followed by 46 zeros? Try it and find out. And the answer is for really large numbers or really small numbers, Python gives it back to me in exponential notation. The third data type that you'll be working with is strings. A string is enclosed in quote marks, so if I want to print the string, it works. I enclose it in single quotes, and it's displayed without the quotes. The quotes are simply there to tell where the string begins and ends. If I want to find out what kind of string, excuse me, what kind of data type it is, I'll use the type function, and it says that it belongs to the class STR, abbreviation for string. I can use double quotes as well. I can say print this works too. And so the question is should you use single quotes or double quotes? And the book tends to use double quotes and a lot of code I've read tends to use single quotes. So my suggestion is choose whichever one you like better and be consistent with it. Sometimes your choice will be forced. For example, how will I print the string that says it's working great. I can't put it in single quotes because then I'll have three single quotes all together. This one will end that one and this one's hanging out in the middle of nowhere. That's why you'll sometimes want to, that's, excuse me, that's why you will sometimes need to use a different set of quotes. By using double quotes I can have a single quote internally and everything's working great. What happens if I have a situation where I have both a double quote and a single quote together? So if I want to print out the string, Mrs. O'Brien said hello to us. I can't use single quotes because O'Brien used those up. 
can't use double quotes because hello used up those. Python has a solution. I can use three single quotes in a row and then close that string with another three single quotes in a row. And then inside that string I can have either single quotes or double quotes in any combination that I like. And Mrs. O'Brien is happy and so are we. Another advantage of the triple quotes is that you can have internal new lines. So if I wanted to write a poem, I could use single, excuse me, triple, and this time I'll use triple double quotes. The boy stood on the burning deck once all but he had fled. And I'll close that with three double quotes. And the output is displayed on two separate lines, just as I typed it.